arrange from least to greatest. So we have to write the lowest number first and then higher and higher. How do we do it? Now these are the fractions. One way to do it is to have common denominator. So the strategy for us will to have common denominator, right? So if you have common denominator, it's kind of very easy to compare, right? So that means we have to find least common denominator, correct? So in this particular case, well, there is one mixed fraction. So it's a good idea to write them all as improper fractions. So we have 5 over 4, and then 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, 3 over 2, and then we have 7 over 6, right? Now what is the common denominator here? The common denominator should be 12, correct? So let's make them all 12. So if I make them 12, I have to multiply the first one by 3. So I got 15 over 12. And this one is by 6, 18 over 12. And by 2, 14 over 12, correct? So now I can write down my answer, which is least to greatest. Now denominator is common, so we can compare easily. This is the lowest number. So 7 over 6 will come first, and then 5 over 4, and then we have 1, 1 over 2. So that is the answer for the first one. Apply the same strategy here and write down your answer, correct? So what should be the common denominator? Figure it out. It should be 6 times 5, 30. Should be your common denominator. Once you get 30 as your common denominator for all, it can easily be compared and then you can arrange them from least to greatest. I hope that helps. Thank you.